All right, the Detroit Lions lose 41 to 25. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Got Sapato right now, so he a little bit hyper. Excuse him. But, um, but yeah, man, basically, I mean, I think the Lions had the lead, and then basically the, the offense gave up like 13 points. J.J. Watt caught a pick six. I think they might have missed a kick on that when I missed the extra point or a two-point conversion, whatever they went for. And then... I think Kerryon Johnson fumbled. Uh, the other, the other running back, number forty-one, whatever is Williams, he fumbled, and that turned into one of the fumbles turned into a touchdown. Um, pretty much, man, the Lions had a good game plan. They pulled out some some tricks and they did some really good things. But um, honestly, they just couldn't go up the up the field and get points. The Houston Texans were too strong. Um, a pro side scored a touchdown. Then they turned around and. Uh, uh, Duke Johnson scored a touchdown. He burned Jamie Collins. And then after that, he tripping. And then after that, um, Will Filler put up two more touchdowns. He had like seven targets. Caught six of them for 171 yards and two TDs. So I knew they would have problems with uh, Will Filler or Brandon Cooks, but Brandon Cooks didn't get off that much. It was pretty much Sean Washington throwing for 318, four touchdowns, rushing eight times for 24 yards. Duke Johnson catching the touchdown. He had what, almost 100 combined yards from scrimmage and you know Houston was just too much their receivers had too much speed and then you know the linebackers couldn't keep up with the Duke Johnson and for the Lions offensively they couldn't get it to Marvin Hall uh, Marvin Jones old Hawkinson he had a solid day uh, Adrian Peterson he didn't do as bad as he did last week he had what 55 yards on 15 rushes he scored two touchdowns last week he was a pro football focuses worst um, running back according to their metrics but uh you know what it boiled down to? Um, uh, this pick by Stafford, and then the fumbles that gave them some points. And you don't, if you don't have, a, look, once you give an offense like Watson some momentum, they don't need, they don't need no momentum. Had they not scored those two touch, them two touchdowns off turnovers, oh he tripping, he tripping. Had he not scored them two touchdowns off, maybe they not get, the, maybe they not got into position. Had they not scored the Watt, the Watt turnover, and then ha, maybe they had not scored or got the ball so close to score with ProSize. Maybe Houston don't get going into the second half. Maybe they never get going. But when your offense keep igniting and lighting the fire and letting other teams' uh, defenses score, put them in a position where they turn the ball over and the offense will score, the Lions ain't the Lions ain't gonna win. You they're gonna win, you know. In Stafford, that was just a hell of a play by J.J. Watt. A hell of a play by J.J. Watt. You got to tip your hat off to J.J. Watt. But then again, we can't be turning the ball over, giving giving points. Stafford, the last couple, the last what? This game, the Colts game, you know, the Vikings games, the Colts game, the last few weeks, he been giving points away. You know, Indianapolis ended up blowing us out, but it was Stafford turned the ball over. I think it was a pick six and a turnover that turned to a touchdown. He turned the ball over twice in the red zone versus Minnesota. Um, you know, he, he just kept doing stupid stuff. Let me get him a toy. Give me a minute. You know, he kept, you know, when you turn the ball over in those situations, you get people. Red zone, a great field position. I mean, you can't talk bad about the defense. In all reality, you know, the offense gave Houston 13 points today. And maybe they not ignited that fire. Maybe Houston don't really turn it up. It's just that Matthew Stafford cannot consistently move up and down the field and score touchdowns. That's the issue. He cannot move up and down the field and score touchdowns. And do I expect him to with Marvin Jones Jr., Hawkinson, and, and no Swift and no Galladay, you know, no Amendola? Yeah, you got paid. You get paid all this money for this many years. You're supposed to be scoring touchdowns, but Watson did what he had to do today. Um, and the Lions did a good job of keeping Watson in that offense in check in the beginning. And Stafford in the offense opened the floodgates, and it was a wrap. You can't give up points when you can't put the points back up on the, on the board. And simply, the Lions can't, can't put points on the board. Stafford has never been able to put points on the board. One of the, re the main reason is he's not had a consistent running game. When he had guys like Calvin Johnson, they never had somebody to match his fly until, you know, Golden Tate got here. But... I mean, in all, pretty much the story of the game is in the beginning when the Lions ignited that Houston Texan fire and J.J. Watt got the pick six and they fumbled and they scored another touchdown. That's pretty much it. Had, had those turnovers not happened, maybe, you know, maybe the Lions win or maybe it'll make it a little bit tougher on Houston to come back to come back and win the game. So when you give somebody 13, 14 points consistent, he did that in the Indianapolis game. He did that in the Minnesota. He took 14 points off the board for the Lions in the Minnesota game. He did it this game. When you consistently give the other teams points and put them in position to give points, you can't get mad at the defense. The defense played a solid game. It might sound kind of funny, but you once the momentum get going and Watson see the ball going to the end zone, he made the throw that he made to Duke Johnson. He run the ball 
the way he ran, I mean, they run the, I mean, he throw the wheel filler the way through the wheel filler. We knew Will Fuller was gonna get off. That that wasn't no that wasn't no secret. Will Fuller was gonna burn anybody. Justin Coleman in the slot, he gonna burn Desmond Trufant, who had another hamstring issue injury. Um we knew he was gonna get off. It was a question, the question was, could they kind of suppress him a little bit? But Brandon Cooks really didn't do much today. But once again, Hawkinson had 89 yards, but he should have had so much more. You know what I'm saying? We knew Adrian Peterson didn't have the juice. Carry on Johnson fumbled. But he looked a little bit more spry today with his with his ankle brace. Just you look at this football team with the Lions, and they just lack top tier talent. Especially when you missing Swift, you missing Galladay. They just lack speed. They lack talent on both sides of the ball. But if you had an offense that was like superior, like Kansas City offense, or you know you had an offense like this defense is good enough to 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 try to a, a champ, to try the team to that uh, championship if you can put up the points. But the crazy thing about it, they can't put up points. And the offense is giving points away. The offense is giving points away. When you when you give points away, you can't win. You can't win, man. And, you know, Watson didn't really burn us with his legs today. He's more patient. He's he throwing that thing. But Will Filler, six catches, one seventy one, two TDs. Shit, he was thinking about he was damn near Randy Moss on on Thanksgiving when, if you don't know the story, the Jerry Jones line said he was going to draft and they didn't. He had three catches, one sixty three, and what two TDs against the Rams against the Cowboys on. On uh, Thanksgiving, but just look at this team. Adrian Peterson don't have a future in this NFL. He old. Um, Kerryon Johnson, he old. You know, he he run like he old. He done. All the pass catchers out there today, they not even first string worthy, or they old like Marvin Jones. Really, it should have been a hell of a game plan to get Hawkins in the ball way more than they did. And once again, they just can't game plan to get the tight end in the ball. You know, Marvin Hall didn't do much today. Um, the running backs didn't give you much other than the two touchdowns Adrian Peterson had. You know, to be honest, this team just lacked talent. You look at Houston, they ain't a lot of talent on defense, but they do got the Zach Cunningham and they got J.J. Watt. But offensively, we got Will Fuller, Brandon, Brandon Cooks, um, when healthy Kenny Steals, Randall Cobb, Duke Johnson, David Johnson Jr. Um, you know, they got some talent. The Lions just lack any type of top-tier talent. And the one position you want to have talent at the best is the quarterback position, excuse me. Ooh, ready for my neck to crack, but they don't have that in Detroit. In Detroit right now, and it's just unfortunate the way we gotta suffer as fans. And Sheila closing her eyes and getting mad and don't want to watch the game. You know, then fire this Joker. Fire him. You know, Jeff Okuda, another bad draft pick, didn't play today. I think Kenny Galladay, no, he done unless he get his money in Detroit. So, you know, could have had a quarterback. He took a cornerback. Here, keep playing with your toy. Keep playing with your toy. <laughs> but you know that is what it is but a lot of people want to know if Matt Patricia will be fired I mean Sheila had her hand in her face but really are they going to be able to find a respectable replacement is the question you know everybody just put, get rid of staff get rid of Patricia get rid of Bob Quinn well you got to be able to get the hires right and do she want to pay Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia to stay at home for what, one or two more years I think it's one more year and when you get it right this time when you get it right for a head coach when you get it right for a GM what's going to be different from her father and her mother when she couldn't get the Lions right you don't know nothing about football. You're going to sit there and the NFL going to conduct a job search for you. You know, it's just losing teams stay losing and winning teams stay winning. And for the Lions, they've been losers the last few years. And I believe, you know, she has to truly turn it around by doing something different than what her mom and her, her pops did. And basically, she got to be willing to spend money. But you can't just spend money in the wrong places. And that's kind of where um, my man that run the, uh, the football team. Forget his name. Uh... I forget it's the dude's name, but he spent a lot of money every year, and he still lose. Dan Snyder, excuse me, he get a lot of money every. He spent a lot of money every year, and they still lose. So you got to be able to spend the money in the right place. You got to be able to put the the resources in the right place. And the, if the Lions want to come from losing, she's either gonna sell the team, or she's either gonna get a senior advisor like Jim Caldwell, or or Tony Dungy, somebody that's gonna help her make football decisions like Tom Boris guy with Ed Stefanowski, excuse me. But other than that, man, I don't even disappoint. I expect him to lose today, and I didn't, I don't expect him to fire Matt Patricia. Uh, he won four games. Um, he can use the injuries as an excuse. But if she fire fire Matt Patricia, then maybe it may be a little bit different, and maybe she she may be different from her mom and her pops. But but if she fire him, question is who do you get the who do you get to replace him? You know, or you know, you went to the Patriots organization, and they have never drafted well. It's all about taking rejected players and making 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 fit in your system. The Patriots have never drafted well. They've never 
went out there and drafted a whole bunch of Hall of Famers or drafted good in the first or second round. It just never happened. So you got to ask yourself, we want to build through the draft. We want to be able to build through free agency. But she has to be able to spend the money. She's going to have to be able to get the right resources as a senior advisor. She's going to have to be able to do a lot of different things, to be honest. And if she ain't willing to spend the money, then she ain't going to win. But she always going to make money as long as there's fans in attendance. And fans in attendance, she always going to be able to do that. He, he kind of wild. He wild today. He need to go for a walk. Um, but that's just, a, that's just the issue. My whole thing is, who replaces them? Who replaces them? <laughs> who replaces them? That's the million dollar question. So, um, other than that, I'm not disgusted. Used to, excuse me, used to the Lions losing on Thanksgiving. Um, I'm used to them losing on Thanksgiving. And if Martha wants to show me different, she fired Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn today, not one, not the other. She fired him today, and she get the job. And she get the job. He walking around doing his thing. Oops. <laughs> I picked him up by his collar, grabbed it, said, you okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? It's a bucko. But other than that, man, uh, he ain't going to let me talk. <laughs> other toy time. But other than that, man, just who you don't get to, to really be the coach and be the GM. And uh, to be honest, you know, I don't think she's going to fire him. Um, I don't think she, I just don't think she's going to fire him, to be honest, so. I mean, we'll see the Lions get dog walked by Houston. I don't think nobody um, thought they really was going to win today with the injuries. But maybe that's Matt Patricia excuse, all the injuries, this, that, and the third. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got a business question, quarry, sponsorship, video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way than Facebook and Instagram. I want to make a donation. Cash shop CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well. But not going to get mad. Not going to yell, scream. I expected it. And I... The game kind of got out of, out of hand quick, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the love, support, best way to donate, share the video, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We go.